So, um, to bring the Southeast Asian perspective, I think we're starting to see a lot more of the growth in the middle class, of people getting access to funds and access to smartphones, access to credit cards and bank accounts. And this means that their purchasing power is increasing, which means the ability to access goods and brands that were previously only developed economy products is starting to grow. And we're starting to see this on online e-commerce. As people come online, they're looking for brands, they're looking for specific uh, items that they previously could not access. Um, that's a wave that's going to continue and that's a wave that we want to continue to ride going on in the future as well. Um, mobile will continue to grow. As smartphone penetration increases, as more and more people have access to better connections and better uh, data rates, uh, the usage of smartphones will increase. I think the key is um, two things. Number one, it's not leaving anyone behind. There's always going to be uh, individuals with slightly slower phones with uh, you know not the right operating system that for apps to function on and we want to make sure that everyone has access to the right tools and the right applications to be able to access these e-commerce sites and to be able to shop. The second thing is making sure that there's a seamless experience across all the devices that we connect with our customers with. Right. So it means that even though we're mobile first we don't neglect users that prefer to use our mobile site. It means that if a user prefers to shop on the desktop, we don't leave them behind. It, it, it means creating a cohesive environment that a user sees the same items, the same brands across these different platforms. So even though we're mobile first, it's about creating a cohesive environment across the platforms. Great question. I think fundamentally we don't see ourselves as just a pure play retailer. What we see ourselves as is an ecosystem enabler, right? Lazada sits at the crux of the meeting point between brands and the millions of people that live in Southeast Asia, as well as payment service providers and logistics service providers. We foster those connections that allow this ecosystem to happen. Example, we have lots of merchants that need working capital when they have um, when we have big campaigns spikes in traffic require them to have excess inventory that they wouldn't otherwise have we partner closely with banks in southeast asia to create financing tools for them to be able to meet those inventory requirements so as an online retailer it requires to have a, a mindset that's beyond just buying selling it it's a mindset beyond just products it's how can we create an ecosystem across all the different components that results in retail and do it in such a way that people eventually start thinking about online retail first. So what we're trying to engender here is a lifestyle shift. It's a shift that when you want to purchase something, you open up your phone first or you go to the desktop before you choose to take your car out. But that requires not just building a website and putting stuff on it, so it's not pure play offline and pure play online, right? What it is, is creating an ecosystem that connects all the different parts, the banks, the logistics, the offline stores and the online stores for one cohesive environment. Today what we have, uh, it's amazing the years that, that we live in right now. We have access to an immense amount of computing power. We have access to an immense amount of new tools and new technologies. We have uh, access to an, an immense amount of data. The trick here is in getting the usage of these items right. Um, I think, take for example, um, what what AI is becoming for us. A lot of us are using it to personalize and create recommendations that are specific to users. And I think this is something that's going to be a key winner going forward. Every brand has a niche group of customers that, that enjoy using that brand a certain way, that recognize and, and connect with it differently. How can we ensure that our brand identity, our product, meets the right customers in the way that they want to be connected with and creates an authentic and relevant connection with the customers. I think using AI, using Internet of Things to do uh, and create that meaningful connection is what's important. And that's going to fundamentally be the way we move in the next 10, 20 years. It's the new tools and new technologies and new startups that realize how to use these tools and technologies the right way for brands and sellers to make connections with customers. Uh, I think it's been an excellent event with uh, with a lot of people from diverse walks of life. As an online, predominantly online retailer, we speak to uh, 
you know, mostly people with experience in the same industry. And this is a great opportunity to understand what's going on in all the different aspects of retail to get a, a proper understanding of of what are the challenges and the, the structural shifts that are happening within each of these verticals, as well as understand what's our role and how we can help people do better business, be more present to their customers and make more meaningful connections. Uh, we're very happy to be here.